Hi my dear students. Hope all of you are fine. Today we are going to discuss about the number names. In the last class we studied how to write the numbers from 101 to 999. So today we are going to study the number names of those numbers. You already studied the number names from 1 to 99. So we are going to study the number names of 3 digit numbers. It is very simple. because Here you can see a number. 1, 0, 0. You already know which is this number. Yes, 100. 99 after 100. This is the smallest and first 3 digit number. 1, 0, 0. The last digit, this 0 is in the place of 1's. 0 is in the place of 10's. And this 1 is in the place of 100's. Which means before writing the number names, we should know one thing. There is a small trick to write the number names of 3 digit numbers. Here we have, we can see 2 parts. This 1 is in the place of 100's. Then the 1's and 10's we will take together. Which means, what's the name of this number? 100. Last two digits are 0. So no need to say 0, 0 like that. Just say 100. Now, how will you write the number names of the rest numbers? Here you can see 1, 0, 1. So, the first digit 1 is in the place of 100. So, 100. Then, no need to say 0, 1 like that. Or we can say, take 1's and 10's together. 0, 1. Means, it is same as 1. So, how will you write the number name? 100. One. Is it clear? Then, one, zero, two. The first digit, that one is in the place of hundreds. So, one hundred. No need to say zero to like that. Take it together, which means the ones and tens is taken together. Zero, two. It is same as two. So, one hundred, two. Then 103, 103, 104, 104, like that, 109, 109, then 109 after 110, which means the first digit, 1 is in the place of hundreds, then Ones and tens. If you take ones and tens together, one zero. Which is the number one zero? Yes, ten. So one hundred ten. Is it clear? Okay. Nine nine nine. Which number comes in the place of ones? Yes, the last digit. This nine is in the place of ones. Then, this 9 is in the place of 10s and this 9, it is in the place of 100s. So, 9, 100, then 10s and 1s should be taken together. 9, 9. Is this the number? Yes, 99. So, 9, 100, 99. Is it clear? Then, one more example. Let us do one more example. 8, 1, 2. See, it is also a 3 digit number. So, it have place value 1s, 10s and 100s. 2 is in the place of 1s. 1 is in the place of 10s. And 8 is in the place of 100s. So, always remember 10s and 1 should be taken together. So, 8, 100, 1 and 2 together called 12. So, 812. Is it clear? Okay. Now, let us move on to the next topic. Let us write another number. 
See, two, five, three. Three is in the place of ones. Five is in the place of tens. Two is in the place of hundreds. So, how will you say the number name? Which number is in the place of hundreds? Yes, two is in the place of hundreds. So, two hundred. Then, tens and ones should take together. So, five, three together, fifty-three. So, two hundred fifty-three. Is it clear? Now another example. Four, one, eight. Here also we are going to write the place value. Eight is in the place of ones. One is in the place of tens. Then four is in the place of hundreds. Now we are going to write the number name. Four hundred. Then tens and ones taken together. Always remember, we always take ten, tens and ones together. So one, eight together called eighteen. We have already studied eighteen. So four hundred eighteen. Is it clear? Let us try one more example. Five eight zero. First of all, we are going to write the place value. Zero is in the place of ones. Eight is in the place of tens. Then five is in the place of hundreds. So five hundred. Then eight zero. Since eight is in the place of tens and zero is in the place of ones, it should be taken together. Eight and zero together called eighty. As you have already studied, so five hundred eighty. Is it clear? Like that, in the same way, we can write the number names of all numbers. This topic we have already studied in the previous lesson. Before, between, and after. I hope all of you remember all those things. In this lesson, we are discussing about three-digit numbers. So. Now we are going to find out the number comes before. Let us try some examples. In the last class, we studied how to write the numbers. So always remember the last digit changes. The first digit remains the same. When we reach nine, only there will be a difference in writing the numbers. So five, one, three. To get the number before five one three, we should count backward or we should move backward. Here the last digit is three. Which number comes before three? Yes, two comes before three. So the last three changes to two. Then the first two digit will remain the same. So five one two o oh, five hundred twelve. Okay, another example. Four. Zero eight. Which number comes before four zero eight? In four zero eight, which is the last digit? Yes, eight is the last digit. To get the number before, we have to move backward. Which number comes before eight? Seven. So eight becomes seven. The first two digit will remain the same. So four zero seven. One more question is here. Find out the number which comes before five two zero or five hundred twenty. Always remember, if the given number is having zero as the last digit, you should write the number comes before the last two digits and write the first digit as the same. Which means here you can see zero is the last digit. So. Come by the last two digits, twenty two zero. Which number comes before twenty? Yes, nineteen comes before twenty. So you have to write nineteen here. Then write the first digit as the same. 
See, four, one, nine. You have to write the number comes before. It is very simple. Which number? Which is the last digit here? Yes, nine is the last digit. Which number comes before nine? Yes, eight comes before nine. So we have to write eight as the last digit, and the first two digit write it as the same. So before four nineteen or four hundred nineteen, we have to write four hundred eighteen. One more question I am going to give. Look here. Four two zero. We have to find out the number comes before four hundred twenty. Here you can see which is the last digit. Zero is the last digit. We don't have a number before zero, so compare the last two digits. Two and zero together called twenty. So which number comes before twenty? Yes, nineteen comes before twenty. So here you have to write nineteen and write first digit as the same. Do you understand the difference? Now let us try some examples for after numbers. To get after numbers, we have to count forward. So here you can see nine hundred eighty six nine eight six. Here also see the last digit, which is the last digit. Yes, six is the last digit. So after six, you have to write which number? Yes, six. Then Seven. Then write the first two digit as the same. So after nine hundred eighty six, we get nine hundred eighty seven. Let us try one more example. Four zero eight or four hundred eight, which is the last digit here. Yes, eight is the last digit here. So eight after. Nine, so it becomes nine. Then the first two digit will remain the same. So four zero eight after four zero nine. Here you can see four zero nine. Can you see which number comes after four zero nine? Okay, find out the number comes after four zero nine. See four zero nine. Since nine is the last digit, nine is a troubling number. We have studied this in the last class. How will you write the number comes after this type of numbers? Which means comes nine as the last digit. So this nine becomes zero. Then four zero becomes four one. So four zero nine after four one zero. Let us try one more example for after number two nine zero or two ninety two hundred ninety. Which number comes after two hundred ninety? Then last digit is zero. Which number comes after zero? Yes, one comes after zero. Then the zero becomes one, and the first two digit we write it as the same. So two nine zero two hundred ninety after two hundred ninety one. Is that clear? Let us try one more question. Two hundred ninety nine, or we can read it as two hundred ninety nine. Which number comes after two hundred ninety nine? Okay, now look here. We are finding the number comes after. So which is the last digit here? Nine. Since nine is a troubling number, we have to think before we write. So, see which is the last digit nine. If you are finding the number comes after this nine becomes zero, then twenty nine after thirty. So which number comes after two nine nine? Yes, three hundred comes after two hundred ninety nine. Now we discuss about after numbers and also before numbers. Now we are going to discuss about number comes between. See, three one four, three one five, three one six. Which number comes before three one five? Yes, three hundred fourteen comes before three hundred fifteen. Which number comes after three hundred fifteen? 
Yes, 316 comes after 315. Thus we can say 315 is in between 314 and 316. Let us try one more example. Here you can see the middle number is missing. 209 dash 211. So which number comes here? 209. 211. We have to find out the number comes between 209 and 211. 210. Yes. 210 comes between 209 and 211. Now we have to complete this number sequence. 721, 722. You have to complete this number sequence. So, 7, 2, 1, then, then, 7, 2, 2, after that which number we have to write? Yes, 7, 2, 3. So, 721, 722, 723, then, 724, then, 725, 700. 26. Like that we have to complete this number sequence. So dear students, today's class is over. Hope all of you understand everything. Study well.